You were right. Bayside sucks. They won't let me take any honors classes because they said the Douglas curriculum doesn't meet their standards. I know our school library was just a Bible and a bunch of army pamphlets, but I'm as smart as any kid here. No, smarter. It's not fair. Yeah, it uh, sucks. Wait, do you like it here? I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. It's just, they have everything. Fancy teachers, money for sports, and the cafeteria is sponsored by Wolfgang Puck, and he is here. Is it so bad to want to enjoy that? Are you actually enjoying it? Or are you just stigmatized by stupid Jamie? <laughs> Since when are you so shy about how good you are at football? At Douglas, you asked the coach if you could play without a helmet. Yeah, so they would know Zaisha putting them numbers on the scoreboard. Girl, look, I know that this school has problems, but it's our first day. Exactly, and it's already unfair. If you don't have an iPad, if you ride the bus, if you're not one of them, you're set up to fail. We need someone to fight for us who knows us. That's why I have to be student council president, now more than ever. But you know your posters have to be in by tomorrow. What? Who said? Uh, they sent out a message about it on the Bayside student app. What the hell's a Bayside student app? You see, we're set up to fail. You know, some of us don't have smartphones because their moms say they're too expensive and al menos se puede tomar fotos pornográfico con este. Attention, please. It is now time to hear from our candidates for sophomore class president. Mr. Morris, would you like to begin? Ah, stop. Ow! Ow! Good morning, Bayside. I'm Mac Morris, and I believe in the power of a good idea. Like my idea that teachers should randomly give you Fs for no reason. And that we should get rid of school dances and use that money to plant a weird tree. Thank you. Wait, is he trying to lose? And now for our next presidential candidate, Daisy. Hi, Bayside. I'm Daisy. And I promise to get Lizzo to perform at prom. And the theme will be everybody gets 50 bucks. I don't know who this Daisy girl is, but she sounds great. OK, wait, they're lying. I'm Daisy. They're pretending to be me. In my Bayside, every lamp will be a ring light, so no one will be an uggo. No, no, that's not my platform. I was running for president because I wanted to give people like me a voice, and all these white dinglings are literally stealing my voice. So do you want us to vote for Daisy or not? Well, I mean, I want to be class president, but not even- And God is my witness. I vow that each and every student will get their own micro pig. Yes. <laughs> Daisy, hey, congratulations on your win. Thanks, but I can't be class president. I mean, I don't deserve it. That wasn't me giving the speech this morning. Oh, I know. Mac and Lexi locked me in a dark supply closet so they could use the PA. I was very scared. But you don't have to bow out. You did technically win. Yeah, but I wanted to win the right way. I, I wanted it to be fair. Oh. Have a seat. Listen, it was never going to be fair. Was it fair you only heard about the election yesterday and Mac's campaign jingle was written by Migos? Was it fair these kids were born in the Palisades and you weren't? Daisy, the universe got one right today. You're here and you're the president. And you certainly proved to me that you deserved it. Where did you get those? Oh, I have a deal with the janitor. He just gives me all the cool stuff the kids throw out. I got a Gucci hat and a necklace that smells. Cool. Listen, these kids, they can be sheltered and clueless, but there's one thing they get right. They never feel guilty about taking their seat at the table. And I know you deserve a seat there too. And if you don't take it, Daisy, how else are we gonna make this place a little more fair? Yeah, thanks, Principal Todman. <laughs>